Okay, so good morning. Today, I will be teaching you how to measure current and voltage using our Tinkercad online application. So, what do we have here? We have here a breadboard with three resistors in series, correct? Okay, you can say that it is series because they are connected to each other. So, if you trace the flow, it will be the three resistors are on one path only. Okay, so let's attach a voltage source. And for the voltage source, we have a 9 volt battery. It has a positive and negative terminal. So, since our components are just resistors, we can connect in any way the positive and negative terminals of the battery. Okay, so let's just click on the positive and let's connect it here. Okay, negative here so just remember the anatomy of the breadboard so that you can know how to connect the batteries so as you can see when you hover over the holes of the breadboard you can see the five holes that are connected to each other so i connected the negative here so that it will be connected on the end of r3 and the positive here so that it will be connected on the terminal one of R1. Okay, let's proceed. So in measuring uh, the current and the voltage, we consider the Ohm's law. So in Ohm's law for series resistors, it states that the current is the same all throughout the path since we only have one path for series resistor so we want to get the total current so therefore what we are going to do is that add up the device or our multimeter inside the circuit so it will be in series with the other components so in this case it will be in series with the resistors so let's just so let's attach the positive terminal here, the end of the uh, artery. Then let's move <coughs> the negative terminal somewhere here. Okay. Oh, if you accidentally click on your wire and you want to delete it, just click escape. Okay, let's move this wire here. Okay, negative. So the negative will be connected on the negative terminal of the battery okay so as you can see let's try to trace the current from positive going to r1 then r2 r3 then going in the positive of the multimeter going out of the negative and going back to the negative terminal so it's okay let's start the simulation by the way let's click it's the mode should be in amperage to measure the current okay let's start the simulation okay we got 300 milliamp uh, 3 milliampere of current flowing here in the circuit so if you don't want to believe you you need to compute and compare it with your measurement here so you should be getting 3 milliamperes too Okay, let's try to move it somewhere here in between the resistors. Okay, let's move the wire first. Mm, let's move this resistor. Okay, so since the resistor is far from the terminal 2 of R2, oh, there's space between them. They are not connected with each other anymore. So let's connect the multimeter in between. So the positive here and the negative here. Let's see if we get the same, same reading. 
so let's start the simulation oh it's the same so anywhere in the circuit it can be after the voltage or in between r1 and r2 as long as it is in series with the other components in the circuit you'll get the same amount of current that's what ohm's law says okay now it's your 